very good day to you. I'm currently in Kennington in South London and today I'm going to ride on a new underground line. That's between Kennington and Battersea Power Station uh, which opened back in September. Um, I haven't had a chance to ride on it yet so I'm going to go and take a look. In 2015, preparation work for the new Battersea Power Station extension of the Northern Line began with tunnels later being dug in 2017. The line splits from the original Northern Line Charing Cross branch at Kennington, where many trains still terminate using the Kennington loops, which the travelling public are not normally privy to. Two new stations have been built on the branch, Nine Elms and Battersea Power Station. The extension was built to serve the Battersea Regeneration Area, which includes the then redundant power station itself. The power station, a Grade 2 listed building and one of the world's largest brick built structures, is now home to exclusive residential units, office space, bars and restaurants. A far cry from the coal fired power station which closed in 1983. The structure had remained redundant and derelict until recent years. The line from Kennington to Battersea is approximately two miles long. You are aware as soon as you are on it, the train stops bouncing and the new tracks are incredibly smooth. We now arrive into Nine Elms station. The station features a wide island platform which is so big you could open a nightclub down here or hold a concert. The acoustics are fantastic. And would you check out that shiny track? When did you last see an underground line look this clean? We finally find ourselves at Battersea Power Station. The station is very similar to that of Nine Elms, with the obvious difference of Battersea being a terminus. There is provision for this branch to be extended to Clapham Junction in the future. The exterior of the station is very modern and only a short walk from the Battersea redevelopment. Well I finally made it to Battersea Power Station um, on this very bright winter's day. Lovely new building. I'm just going to go and check out the power station itself and see how much it's changed since I last saw it. One of the reasons this Northern Line extension is so significant for the people of South London is because there aren't really that many underground lines south of the river at all. This was mostly due to the sandy geology south of the river, which made it very, very difficult for the Victorians to tunnel through. The clay geology north of the river was a lot easier to tunnel through, which is why you have a lot more underground lines north of the River Thames.